Patriot Beach Bowl, fitting Virginia and Georgia. And for Virginia today marks an anniversary of sorts. Their first ever bowl appearance came right here in the Beach Bowl back in 1984. Today, they're the ACC coach champs playing in their sixth bowl game in the last seven years of the Cavaliers take the field. Sending it back to Chris McCraney, the wide receiver, and it helps out. Snap. Can he get it away with the left? Oh, and he's got effort. Incredible. He's done that before. That keeps his composure. The snap is atrocious. He can't short hop it. He knows the people are on top of him, but Bryce is able to get it up and get the ball off there. The mistake. Percy Ellsworth, a first team All American, the first defensive back to earn that honor in Virginia history. So now third and four color, a short four at that, near the 32. Hines Warren with the pocket holding up. Intercepted, picked off. The linebacker, Skeet Jones, barely pulled down from behind. Good play early. Medley or a pitch back to Tiki Barber. He's in. Touchdown, Virginia. after the loss of a couple. They bring the blitz from the outside. Over his shooter, and it's another pick. This time, Percy Ellsworth, the All-American. And it's first and goal again for the Cavaliers. They'll put him out right at the 10. They can't put the pressure on a former flanker who also played scat back this year. The play fake for throw. It's deflected and intercepted by the Bulldogs. After the deflection, Corey Johnson, the free safety with it. He just needs to stop aiming and relax and go out there and throw. Well, that's from the man who's trying to give some advice from the base. He wants his scat back, don't forget. And there goes the quarterback. First down, Georgia, and Hines Ward. Short side of the field, Kersey won't get close. In fact, he lost a yard, penetrating again. Barrier, the linebacker. Into the game, this crowd is Joe. Tiki Barber. And it's blocked. Knocking through his barrier. The mad scramble. Virginia has the football. The block for Barrier. The recovery for Joshua Knowlton. It seems to me, Joel, that during this bowl season, we've seen more block kicks, more snaps over the punter's head, more kickoff returns for touchdowns, and I really believe that the reason for that is the month layoff. The offense and defense can seem to get it together, but for some reason, special teams during the layoff are very rusty. He comes in completely unimpeded. Great play by Ferrer, and once again, setting up the Cavaliers. They double up the wide receivers on the wide side of the field. looking in that direction. At the five, he's got the completion. And it's Pete Allen taking it in. See the drastic difference on the ground. Will Brooks get the first down? Yes. Will he get the touchdown? He will. Touchdown, Virginia. No doubt about that. Scat back now is Larry Bowie, who had that last one. The senior from Madison, Alabama, who stay in the back. Still along with Callaway, the fullback. Little dump off, but blocking in front and running right through his blockers. There goes the scat back. Bowie on his way. All the way inside the 35. Great job of open field running by Bruce. 51 yards on the play. The fake on the toss. Receiver available. Up of 51 yards by Bowie on a little dump off pass. Now sets up the 36 yard field goal try. The senior from Stone Mountain, Georgia, Kenan Parkman. It's on its way. And the Bulldogs finally get on the board with exactly 60 seconds. For the Virginia Cavaliers, it's Pete Allen. Who waits for the kickoff from Parkman. Along with Terrence Wilkins. earlier this year. We saw it at the outset of the telecast. The win the Georgia Tech game. Setting this one. Over to Pete Allen at the one. And Allen Berry crossing the 20. Loses the ball. The Bulldogs, I believe, have it. Adrian Goodman coming up with it. Another turnover. 
Cavaliers. Markman already with a 36-yarder, trying from 37 yards away. And he splits the uprights once again with Cannon Parkman. The offense right now for the Georgia Bulldogs. He's 15th of 21 of the season. And we've got an eight-point ball game. Second and long again, and Ward in trouble. Is going to be dropped for this set. Jamie Sharper, the outside backer. And that is a huge loss inside the 40. Total net yards offensively, though. And that also means that they've had more plays, 37 to 24, but as you mentioned, Virginia is still at the 11 point lead. Play action, buying grow time. He's got Pete Allen wide open. Allen inside the 20, forget it. Touchdown, Virginia. that enables him to get to the post. The safety turns the wrong way. Boy, what a great throw by Grove. And of course, Allen with his 4-3-5 speed does the rest. Got Brian Smith available. He's been out most of the year. The screen for going. And does a nice job to get to the sideline. The fullback taking it all the way down to the 38-yard line of Virginia. Forced out there and a touchdown setting stop by Paul. First and 10 at the 38. Ward again out of the shotgun. A rope. His receiver has it inside the 25. Much more comfortable behind Ward out of the shotgun. And he hits him. His favorite target so far. Christmas in the backfield. Fourth and goal, Bulldogs. The quarterback sneak. Touchdown, Georgia. The two-point conversion drop. Quarterback drop would be great here, too, Paul. Ward looking over the middle. He's got Bryce Hunter. And we've got a 10-point ball game. The third quarter was all field goals, with Cannon Parkman for the Bulldogs converting from 20 yards out to cut the Cavaliers' lead to seven at 24-17. However, Rafael Garcia answered with a 36-yarder to once again increase the margin, giving the Cavaliers a 27-17 lead. But at the start of the fourth quarter, Parkman nailed a 42-yarder to once again make it a seven-point affair. So with the score 27-20 in favor of Virginia, we pick up the game halfway through the fourth quarter. First down, Bulldogs. Three wide receivers set for Hines Ward. And it falls just barely incomplete. Another shot on Ward. Jamie Sharper all over the quarterback. Third and yard. The slant is there, and they've got the first down to the midfield strike. And it's Corey Allen taking it in, but Ward again popped at the end of the play on the 13-yard completion. Quarterback sneak from a couple of feet away. Fourth and five from the 30. What a grab! Wow! Corey Allen, catch of the game so far. Attention for quarterback Hines Ward. It doesn't look like they will, though. It's too loud. Ward, a poor throw. So now back at the 12. They would put the ball up, would they? Yes, they will. Throw. The tight end loses it. Scooped up. Georgia. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And Jason Ferguson. came out and called an unsportsmanlike conduct against Georgia for celebration. And that's going to be costly because that means they'll be kicking off from the 20. The holder is Ryan Sanderson. Raven the snapper. Parkman gets into it. And we're all leaving the Georgia Dome. 
but the costly celebration penalty means the 20, and that could be excellent field position for Virginia. And it's not a very long one. Allen will take it, though, back at the 17. Allen with a great return. Already in field goal range, and will it go the distance? Pete Allen does it. Unbelievable! Absolutely incredible. Now. We can slow it down and see. Parkman pushes him. Now watch the left foot. Watch the official. He's right there. Where's the left foot? He's not out there. Boy, that's a great piece of balance. He's in bounds. You see the official right there go down. Allen stays in bounds. Boy, that's a great bit of tight roping. And I tell you what. Tip drill, and it's batted down by Percy Ellsworth. The Cavaliers win it, the 28th Annual Beach Bowl.